Good morning everyone, all my YouTube friends and family. Just got a quick update on that uh, last bow that I got, that 67 bear grizzly. Uh, I tried to get rid of that buzzing noise from the compass, put some clear epoxy on it. As you can see, I haven't trimmed away the excess yet. I will make it look pretty. I put some clear epoxy on it, hoping that that would fill in any gaps and stuff in it, but I don't believe that it was the gaps that was making the buzzing sound. I'm pretty sure it was probably the free-floating needle that's in there. You know, when I shoot, it vibrates the whole thing. So I still have a slight buzzing, uh, which quite honestly, if I wanted to hunt with the bow, I don't think it would really affect the deer. I mean, they're gonna hear the shot you know the thump of the bow over that buzzing but the bow is still very fun to shoot and it really flings them out there you can see that it's actually a little bit quieter of course a lot of that's because I did put the string silencers on it in the felt But yeah, that buzzing, I think it was because of that style of compass that he put on there. Whoever it was that put the compass on there. But this bow is actually a lot of fun to shoot. Even at the higher poundage. I haven't been shooting the recurves all that much. I've been giving my hand time to uh, heal itself, so actually my hand's feeling really good today. I mean, I, I enjoy this bow. It was well worth what I paid for it. Good shot on Mr. Raccoon there. So I think the buzzing has lightened up on it, but I can still hear it in there. But I mean, it's still a pretty quiet bow. It's not that bad now that I've got all the string silencers and everything on there. So nice. I don't know. I'm thinking that it's going to be a revolving bow is what I'm hunting with the recurves. I think one day I'll take out one, next day I'll take out another, you know, and so on. Should we walk back to 30? Should I just ruin this whole video with a 30 yard attempt? I don't even know if I have any targets that will, uh, that I can see from back here right now. Uh, yeah, I can try the turkey, I guess. I'm probably going to put an arrow right in my garage. Since I haven't shot for quite a while. And I've never shot this one past 20. <laughs> Alright. Hit the turkey. I'm not sure where, but I don't really think it was that bad of a shot. And those are those game getters, man. I'm telling you, those game getters are the perfect arrows for my recurves. I love them. Yeah, look at that. I hit the turkey. I'd say about four inches to the right of where I wanted to. But 30 yards, my first time shooting that bow from that far, I'd take that. All right. So... Yep, I'm still very happy with this bow, even though I can't completely get rid of the uh, buzzing noise, but I've definitely had a lot worse bows and had better bows. Um, 
I'm really becoming a fan of the Grizzly line though. I like those older Grizzlies, those 62 inch ones. Uh, this one's only 58 inch ammo, but uh, still it shoots like a dream. So, all right, I'll catch you all in the next one. I, I am still uh, finishing up the second half of the 3D course with the Super Kodak, so that should be coming off pretty soon. And then I'm also gonna take uh, I'm gonna take the 62 Grizzly out to uh, that course. And then there's also another course I'm gonna try with the Oneida. So, got some other things coming up. I know you guys are probably getting tired of me shooting the same courses and everything, but I like to have the videos of the different bows on each course so I can go back myself and look at how I did with each bow. That'll kinda of help me determine what I'm gonna use during the fall for bow season. So, all right guys, I'll catch you on the next one. I hope you're all having a great day and a great summer and uh, take care.